So she took a bit, bit of a beating there, but oh well. Let's play around a quarry, you never know. Let's go. The blow the road ahead is dimly lit. A stray focuses up ahead. A stray focuses up ahead. The nose is a large flock of crows circling the sky. In the center of the road stands a pole covered in crows with a glowing object hanging from it. It's glowing, we must get it. Trigger a difficult combat to grasp the team, Raven Blessing. So grants five tips isn't when completing an encounter. That sounds cool. We'll go for it. Strange covers a crown made of Raven feathers and gems on the pole. However, upon a return to ground, they're surrounded by a flock of crows. Let's see what the crows are all about. Oh, it's these guys again. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. So this is very difficult for these guys. Hmm. Sit this guy in first. No more damage there. There are two ravens on this circle right here. That's interesting. I can't attack this guy, so let's try. Let's go for a healing shot. I'm abused right now. A hit right here. I just realized we still have the you know the wind here to deal with, but oh well. Oh right, these guys deal more damage too. That's gonna be nice. Here. Well, I got burn dash because you know we still end our turn by seeing a square like that. Slash a little bit, this guy. Over here. Let's go here. Stun this guy. Can't move through that square, but at least we like you know stun them. Yeah, we'll take burning damage, unfortunately, but well. Let's go like this. Knock him over there. Get out of the flames. I'm not sure if I think he just damaged his friend there. Because of corn and stuff like that. Right, they're getting slammed into each other because, you know, wind, but whatever. Oh well. Of course, he comes back because you know 
Undying. I was hoping I'd kill it there, but oh well. We're just gonna burn a lot in this one, I think. There was one of them. Move over here so the wind basically hits you and knocks you over here, I guess. That sort of worked. At least this uh, square is no longer on fire. Rest. Seal him up a little bit so we can basically do this. All fire! There's a little bit of damage. over here to basically use up her shield a little bit. Let's rest up. Let's go defensive. They're in a frenzy now. Where's this guy? I'll be annoying. Well, he's not doing anything just yet, so that's nice. So much burn ground. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so this guy's basically extremely annoying. We're just gonna overcharge, I think. Fire! Fire again! Continue fire! Yeah, it's still like defensive, right? Because the defense boost? Whatever. They can't like displace this guy because like, you know, oh well, he can't be displaced. Oh, he sent this guy on fire. Whoops. Forgot about the wind. Doing that, you know, crap against me. I'm taking so much damage from these guys, but whatever. Damage there. Let's 
More damage there. He's back up, that's fine. Let's go here. Almost got this guy down. Well, he went down, that's fine. Shield Bash, go! Yay, I didn't die! So let's see here, we got ourselves... Damage the target and push yourself back by one grid, so it's basically knock back type of thing. Torn for the chance to gain one MP when using skills. Oh, you just get plus one mind. Interesting. I like the idea of like, you know, being able to possibly get more moving points. Oh look at that, these guys level up again. Yay! I'm resting, restore 10% lost HP. We did see that a little bit there, but I don't really use it that much, so let's get this going. I use this up a lot, so let's keep that around. I'm not really charging this guy, so why just keep it? I like my stun rod. Medicine 2. So it took a little bit of damage from that, but we're not dead yet, so it's fine. I think we want to find out what this is all about at this point, so... Bizarre camera. A camera lies silently around the corner, exuding a mysterious allure. Out of curiosity, Stray approaches the camera and examines it closely. The camera appears to be an outdated model and is slightly worn. After fumbling around with it for a while, Stray finds the power button and activates it. Power it on. The memory card is brimming with experience from Stray's past. Photos, videos, sound recordings capturing various moments from every perspective. Initially, Stray suspects someone was covertly tracking and recording them, but upon closer inspection, Stray begins to realize that the camera automatically generates the owner's experiences. Got it. While Stray powers this incredible application of the camera, a horror hustle is drawn near, preparing for a surprise attack. Suddenly, the camera flick, fl fl um, flash flickers, alluring Stray to the imminent danger. So you unlock the library feature. Okay. We're unlocking stuff. Hooray! There's a new guy. So, this is a dynamiter. It's a mutant. It's got a kamikaze! So, it's got a cool enough tool for this. So, suicide explosion, deal damage to all targets, unite all grits in range. And slam. Hmm. Oh, look at that, we actually slam these guys and like not where we're about to lead for retaliation. Oh, it still works. Okay, never mind. Well, I want to see if that would work, but it didn't. Oh well.
At least he can't believe he's stunned, so we learned that. Hmm. Let's go here. He goes down. He's down for good. Probably should actually use this right here, but oh well. Didn't think about that. What do I care about the most here? Probably this guy. I should actually just check to see if like the a stun will actually like stop him from being able to do stuff, this guy, but oh well. I forgot all about that. And I'll kill this guy first. Let's go here. Now this guy should die to like the east wind, so I'll much as leave him be. Let's do that. We'll go here. Gets pulled and dies. Overkill this guy, I guess. Or not. I can't tell if this guy's slamming or kamikaze, but you know, he's dangerous all the same. All right, heal this guy so you can basically, you know, join the attack. Let's go for this for now. Get a free kill and lots of AP for it. Well, there's the, you know, Kamikaze, you would have put it off if you didn't die right there. Um, reset the additional cost of Pixis kills when you kill a nearby unit. That's really nice, probably yet. Here's coffee. Recover 1 HP when a caller from a, um, uh, for the taller when joining a co-op attack. Let's get this one. Press any key to, um, continue. So, you can now access the library from the main menu. Push the level 4. Here's level four. Yeah, so I kind of unlock some more V's, but whatever. I'm not getting the you know containers basically to do that, unfortunately. Four percent for each co-op attack you take part in expires at the end of combat. Hmm.
I take this as a, you know, get more like resets. All right, let's just try and do another like, you know, elite to get more, you know, unlock space going. So we got another one of these big guys that you go through. Okay, let's see here. You're going there, you're going here, you're going there. These guys will like, you know, attack over here if they get knocked over. These guys are just going to be annoying. We'll do that. I'm gonna at least show you here because he basically has like you know the initiative, so to speak. So leave him there for now. You're gonna come here. Shoot him. Move back. Arrow smash. We'll do this. Yay! AP! Arrow smash. And we'll do that. Whoops, I moved use up all my move there, I guess. My bad. I guess my stray isn't getting it you know move if I would get here, but well. That really hurt. Let's do this. Move right here. Not sure what's damaging me, but it's hurting me a little bit. Let's just heal him up a little bit. Move her back over here. That's a reinforcement. Hmm. Can't attack this guy, but I can attack this guy here, so... Let's go like that. We're talking about square air, apparently. So I'm not sure what damage is in when he basically moves around like that, but whatever.
I think I want to stun this guy so he can't do anything for a moment, so... Knock him down for a moment. Let's go here. Cool, no re no retaliation for that. He of course comes back, because that's what he does. Stand by. Ow. There he goes, that, like, you know, little tick thing. Let's do all this. Do more of this. I find one they can really retaliate from, like, you know, close like that, but I, mean, I guess it makes sense, so, oh well. Oh, this is damage him. The Thriven wore off on this guy, I guess. Let's go here. And more reinforcements, because why not? Do a charge attack like this. He, of course, comes back. Let's go here. Almost got him down. Let's go here. I guess like this has to be like really close range to hit with it, so well. Let's go here. Down goes that guy. We'll go here. Take the hit, that's fine. Oh, this turns him around. That's good to know. More damage. There we go. He doesn't get to do his retaliation because he died. Blood bag, quick fix. When resting, restore 5% uh, HP for new allies with, when, with HP below 25%. So, okay, that's interesting, but not really needed because I don't really, really get my guys get that low. When resting, all friendly units uh, in a grid get shield of light and have a higher chance to dodge the um, next attack. Basically, he gets to dodge a little bit. That's not bad. Look at this. This strange red mist is getting thicker. 
Wait, did I just hear something? Or was it just my imagination? I heard it too. I think something is lurking in the mist. We stay alert. There's the big bag boss. We'll deal with him soon enough. You sense the presence of something with considerable power. Okay. So, I'm gonna get reckless and bring random factions into your chapter. Or get this. Flash past the target by one grid and deal damage. We're gonna get the star chart. We're gonna be cautious this time around. That's expiring. There's a justified betrayal. I'll note that this is a nice, like, you know, thing, the low scaffold, because it basically gives me an extra attack, but... The main problem it has is actually has, you know, it, it takes my movement points to basically use it, so there is that about it. There's that. Let's go get the extra temp Tempusi in, I guess. Hot mess, okay. Let's group charge this guy. There we go, a little bit of healing for him. This might be stupid, let's go straight here. Right into the corner, because why not? I actually can't move like past these guys, right? So, probably not a great thing. This might be very stupid, but I'm just going to bash these guys right into the corner. You're attacking a square. Let's go here. Hit that guy in the face. I mean, he's going to attack me, but it's fine. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. One death for this guy. Over here. There goes one. So you're jumping. You're just, uh, just being annoying. Let's see here. Mac. Oh, nice. Oh, I got a kill on this guy. Grand Gaze is kind of annoying, but oh well. Let's go here. Nice, that guy's down. Hmm. 
This guy's annoying over here. As is this guy. It's not dead yet, but at least it's taking some beating there. Go here. That one's down. Move here. Remember me? Interesting. Let's go here. Herself. Hmm. One hit. Now let's go with uh, Des. I think we're fine. Let's go here. During a frenzy, that's fine. Oh, special enemies have appeared. So it's here. We'll go here. Go here. Not down yet. Ouch. That worked. Healing Amulet. Recover 7 HP for one friendly card can only be used once per combat. That's actually pretty useful if I want to basically heal up my other guys. Initiative plus one. Last means I just go first, I think. Modder. All participants critical to percent when the next call up you call. Let's get this. You know, it used to be I could like buy like you know containers or something from here, but I can't see see any at this point, which is kind of annoying. The sharpshooter, heartfinder, attack enemies. Um, attacks against enemies are two grids or fair way. Deal 10% damage for each additional grid. They deal more damage. Rifle pl um, plunder. Recover armor when flanking a target. Intimidate dummy. Grant one second parry for all units. Blah blah. I don't really find a whole lot of use for a shop here because you know we can't buy more like space. Oh well. Let's see here. There's a healing amulet. The 
this has a very long time to use. Might take the healing amulet instead. Let's see what the boss of the uh, highway base is all about. Crash souls, the plunderer says. A guardian? No. It's a hunter looking at the exit. Watch out, he's coming at us. Alright, what's this special gimmick? So, Vampiric Strike. He deals 20 damage to a target and heals 50% of damage dealt. He has Scroll Attack, deal uh, damage to all targets in range. He has Spirit Reap. Deal damage to all targets in range and grant one stack of Siphon Chain. Spirit Pillage. Apply Siphon Chain to nearby enemies at the start of combat. Or all enemies in combat if there are none. So, MP Regen. Take damage to the end of tur uh, turn. If it much armor as the source of, the, of his status, and the source of his status. So... We basically have less MP as a result of that, I guess. Well, let's go for a group charge. He's not close enough for it. Let's go for this, then. Somewhat worked. Let's move here. Let's get rid of the siphon chain. We're still gonna have it, unfortunately, but oh well. Move here. That works well. Let's try to do some sort of attack. I don't have the Eastern Wind to go by way at this point, so I can't use my knockout back ability here. Let's go like this. That worked pretty well. Let's see here. Currently all my guys are at full HP, so we're good on that front. Let's lock him back. Might be able to take him out right now, so. Group charge! We'll stay right here for now. Actually, I should move because, you know, she could have done better here if I did that, but whatever. Oh well. Let's do this. My mistake. Ow. Oh, I still got all his HP. That's nice. Let's do this. Let's 
go here. So this like is like, you know, view whenever you hit him in the back, I guess, so that's something worth noting. Down it goes. Alright, well there we go. Loot selection, we got a 2 8 dummy, bio prospect, and cypher badge. So as a passive admiral, it gets you perfect aim. Gain, gain 1 AP when force acts attentive or when killing a Najee's in target. Attack plus free. And Guardian, grant one second parry for one turn to all friendly units from range. Each use is increased the next AP cost by one. My uh, team's like too close range for like sniper back to be really useful, so let's get this, I guess. Phew! I didn't expect to find a hostile like that in this space. Good thing I discovered it beforehand, otherwise things would have been much trickier. Wait, there's a ladder leading down to where the hostile disappeared. That must be exit, it's time to leave. Alright, well, I can heal up, I guess, if I need to, or unlock stuff. Gain 2 AP and MP on the first turn in combat, that's pretty nice. Let's go for this, I guess. And we'll go to Stray. Okay, nothing's available, so... Never mind. More HP! I guess she's a tech one. So, this advanced technology product developed by the ARA offers an incredible level of experience that will even rouse that of real limbs. So, I get more tech with this. Flex diplomacy has certain skills or traits. Hmm. I'm not really using this stuff, I'm not really resting, so. I'll put these on. All the stuff I have here, you know? Might get this. Alright, well that's basically it for this chapter here. Go to the next chapter. That was Highway of Hell. Now we're going to Park of Ashes. Ah, finally. Fresh air. I'm so glad to be out of that cursed place. What on earth is this place? There are massive cubes everywhere. And it's snowing. Wait, it's not snow, it's ash. This is unbelievable. How did Central Park end up like this? I used to walk around here. And it feed the pigeons on that bench. Those metal statues, are they also part of uh, the park scenery? They look oddly futuristic. Hostiles up ahead, stay sharp, they're coming. Price this event, passing bomb. Alright, so we got ourselves in our passive event to deal with. That'll be a chapter factor. One character gets bomb at the start of combat. Bomb passes to the Ram unit at the same grid at the end of the uh, turn, explodes in, uh, after a few rounds. So, basically, that's where like, I pass around uh, you know, the hot potato. And hostiles deal more damage. Isolation versus one. All right, well, that'll be interesting for like next time. This is how long you have spent on this campaign. Each encounter counts as one turn. There's the character profiles, campaign info. All right, well. Save and exit. So, that was basically the Highway of Hell. I unlocked the library, so... Let's see what the library is basically all about. Alright, so... 
the library basically lets us go over like you know what these guys are all about I guess there's abnormalities barring game to unlock hmm I am spending like 10 Susan but I guess like you know this encounter gets through stuff yet for some for some reason there is like you know, a little bit about the hostels by the way so you can basically read about them if you want to hear. There's like the Reaper. Are the bosses in here too, under? There's a the modder. Yep, there they are. There's the Antler Colossus. And there's this guy. Here's my, like, you know, stats. There's my factor. All right, well. I just want to check something, by the way. Now. All right, so that's worth doing. Basically, like, you know, start a new slide, just push you back in, like, you know, the um, tutorial. What I want to basically, like, check here is basically, like, you know, um, if I basically like, start, like, you know, Want to like start a new run, basically. Is that basically like you know, um, is it like counting down? Is it basically slowly like you know, um, as like you know, I slowly like you know go for like the you know leads to basically kill and stuff like that. Can't really see it from like here, so I can't see like the unlocks. I feel like I guess like my run is done. Oh well. Well, whatever, that's basically fine. And I'll play the collapse that's basically like the second like, you know, stage piece went through. We'll go for Park of Ashes next. That'll be for next time though. For now, take care.